I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome to the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Peggy Romero. Finally, it's Saturday, and I thank you so much for joining me for the Saturday Podcast. I'm truly honored that you would take your time to listen to me, and I appreciate you. So we've been going through each of the purposes week by week. It's been really cool. And this week we are discussing the inspire purpose. Understanding your purpose is so important. So if you don't know your purpose yet, please take the time to go into the Stress Mastery community and do the purpose exercise. If you want help with it, then go into the community and then message one of us. You can direct message or just send send a blanket message to the coaches and uh, we will help you. If you want to reach out to me, I'm at PeggyRomero.com, as well as in the community. And any of us will be happy to sit with you on the phone and do it, or I would love to do it by Zoom. I'm sure the other guys would too. Unless you're in Pella, then I'd actually help you in person. Anyways, you got to know your purpose if you're going to live on purpose, right? So with a quick uh, Google search, I found the definition for Inspire. To fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Similar, stimulate, motivate, cause, incline, persuade, encourage. Well, that's music to my ears for a vitality purpose. Remember, a vitality purpose aim is to raise up energy around them. And I definitely have inspire as one of my values. Inspire purpose is to evoke recognition. Now, we're not talking about recognition for ourselves like, oh, bravo, you did a great job. Inspire Purpose wants to encourage other people to recognize what they're capable of. That's the recognition that we're talking about. They want to persuade, encourage, incline, and motivate you and the other people around them to live their best life, to be their best self. So maybe that's you. I've loved the podcast this week, and especially Tuesday's um, Health Huddles was amazing. I listen to the podcast uh, most of the time when I'm on the rowing machine. Some days it's super easy and I'm just dot, 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 dot going for it. And other times I get really exhausted because I actually work out at a different gym before I go to any time and do the rowing machine. My habit is to stay on the rowing machine for an hour. And some people, actually many people, not including Bill Courtright, have told me that an hour on a rowing machine for a 61-year-old lady is way too much. But what I can tell you is that I love to see myself burn 600 calories in an hour. So it doesn't seem like too much to me. In fact, it inspires me to keep doing it again the next day. Sometimes it feels like a little bit too much for my ego, though. (laughs) Lucy wants me to quit and go home after about mm, two, three minutes. I mean, who can blame her? I can hear my stomach growling half the time. But I like to do uh, fasting cardio, and I don't want to get up any earlier, and I don't like to eat before I go. So I just go through my workout, and then I go home and have some protein. Anyways, back to the podcast on Tuesday. It was great. I loved that David pointed out that even if you don't have the hour, I mean, I'm just using my own thing. Even if you don't have the hour to go on the rowing machine, as long as you go, it's still a win. I mean, how much time do you have? Do you have 30 minutes, 20? He even said 10 minutes was okay. I mean, that's inspiring. Just doing it is good enough. Not letting your ego give you an excuse is what really matters. He was motivating us to get off our butts and go to the gym, no matter how short of a time that we have to be there. Remember, the ego, big fat liar. And most of the time, we actually could wake up a little bit early if we wanted to. It just depends on if we want to go or not. And like David said, just go. I have to agree with him. I love the idea of not starting over again on day one. Having that streak feels amazing. So instead of your ego talking you out of going for too short of a time, just go no matter how many minutes that you can, can, you know, spare and work as hard as you can for that amount of time. So I get a lot of inspiration from keeping my metrics. Green focus power hour, check. Four quarts of water, check. Logged my food today, check. Stayed on my diet, check. Cardio, check. Strength training, check. And that reminds me. Sometimes, I keep track of my sleep too, so that's what reminded me. Sometimes you don't have a good night's sleep. 
Sometimes you may not have as much energy as you usually have. And you do need to take care of yourself. Like you can't exhaust yourself. But you have to keep yourself in check. And it's going to take honesty. Because remember the ego, the liar? The ego is going to just tell you, oh, you're too tired. You better not do anything. But most of the time you're not too tired. But how much energy do you have? And are you prioritizing sleep? Got to put your check mark by sleep too. Do you know how much energy you get just from a simple workout? I mean, have you ever noticed that you can feel lazy and just sitting around and you just get more and more tired and you just think you're going to watch TV or whatever, but you get yourself to get up and go for a walk around the block? Oh my gosh, breathing in the fresh air, walking around the block, sometimes you feel exponentially better. And it's actually almost immediately the sunshine shining on your face. Most of the time, taking a short walk will inspire you to take a longer walk. I mean, even if you start walking to the mailbox, pretty soon you'll be walking around the block. It's incredible. We find inspiration from everywhere. Inspiration can help give us the push that we need. I mean, think about this. It doesn't have to be about weight loss either. It could be about sales or it can be about anything. I'm just using this because I'm thinking about the Tuesday health huddles, right? Okay, losing a few pounds inspires you to lose a few more. Losing a dress size Wow, that really inspires you to lose more. How about uh, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something different? How about being grateful for the little things? It will make you notice more things. Connecting with an old friend, looking at the beauty and the change of uh, seasons, calling um, somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time. All of that kind of stuff can give us inspiration. It gives us motivation to do more. I am so inspired and motivated to be positive in all my conversations and dealings with people because lots of people tell me that they appreciate me and that inspires me to be a better person. I love the fact that I lift people up, that I make them feel better, that they say, hey, can I just talk to you for a minute so you can help me think this through so I can quit thinking negative? I mean, that inspires me to keep connected to people. It's my heart's desire to help create a shift by raising the energy of the people around me. So I go to this class called Fit for Life, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's really fun. Lots of ladies are in there. Most, yeah, I don't think there's ever been a guy in there. But there's about 16 of us in there. Some of them are older than me. Some are my same age. The teacher's younger than me. A few of the other ladies are younger than me. So it's, it's a mix. But all of them have something in common. They're all working hard. And you guys, it shows. I mean, fit for life. I'm not kidding you. These ladies are going to be fit for life. And that inspires me to be fit for life. It's cool to be in a place where there's a bunch of 70-year-olds, some of them even older than that. You guys, they do planks. They, They do these exercises where you have to do a knee lift so high that you're clapping underneath, you know, one leg, back and forth, left, right, left, right. And they're raising their legs high enough to clap underneath them. I kid you not. It's great. The music is upbeat and fast tempo, so it's not, you know, slowly. It's it's quickly. And I love to sing along with the class, of course. It's not um it's not always songs that I know, but I'm just starting to know them, so I have to make sure that I don't bust out and sing. But I smile and laugh and I put a little hop into mine. I love that class. But I get my energy from the other people in the class. I'm not kidding you. You look around and you see a bunch of ladies that are older than you and they're in excellent shape. That's going to inspire you to work a little bit harder. Uh, Just knowing that if I keep this up, then I'll be in that grade of shape when I'm their age too. Just got to keep it up. So they inspire me to step it up a little bit. And some of them have told me that I inspire them to work a little bit harder in the class too, seeing the bounce in my step. So it's awesome. We're actually raising the energy for each other. So this other class that I go to, they're all, they're all younger than me in, in the other classes. Um, it's a weight training class, and it's called Body Pump, and it is so cool. I love this class. So when I first started, I you know, was like, oh, how much weight should I put on here? Well, they thought I was a wimp, I guess, because I'm older than them. So they have me put like five pounds on each side, maybe 10 pounds. Now I do like 40 pounds <laughs> for that class. Wow, wow, wow. The more I do, the more I want to do. I mean, I'm strong. I'm working towards being really strong. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I was a bodybuilder? I'll tell you, sometimes I feel like I am because there's mirrors on two sides and I just see myself like pumping iron. Wow, it is really really cool. I love it. 
find a body pump class near you and then push yourself, add more and more weight. I highly recommend it. It will give you confidence. And remember, the number one biomarker for health is muscle. So that class builds muscle. Use it or lose it, remember? Whatever you do, guys, I'm not kidding. Build your muscles up. It will support every system in your body. And if you take a little bit of care of yourself, then you're going to feel like taking better and better care of yourself. And next thing you know, you'll be inspired to be in the best shape of your life. I just want to spend a minute talking about the Inspire Purpose. So I'm going to read uh, this brief overview. And I'm ad-libbing it. It's not uh, verbatim off uh, the Stress Mastery community. The Inspire Purpose has a profound desire for freedom because they love innovation. They love to transform things in order to create something completely new. The Inspire Purpose archetype can find creative solutions to old problems. They are clever, nonconformist, and self-sufficient. They're imaginative and good-humored. Their pendulum swing is into a very low apathy energy where they can become inconsistent and spend more time thinking than actually doing. They are brilliant at showing the world one face while wearing another behind closed doors. The obvious Inspire uh, archetypes are in the arts, including musicians, artists, computer developers, writers, entertainers, and entrepreneurs. So if you have a different purpose, but this sounds like you, then perhaps you have Inspire as one of your values like I do. We all understand how important inspiration is no matter where we get it from, we need it, right? I love being around creative people because they're so encouraging. And the Inspire purpose are wonderful to talk ideas through with because they won't just go along with your ideas and and agree with you because they have some of their own but they're willing to share them with you. And remember, they want to evoke recognition in others. They want you to recognize your value. They want you to succeed. I was thinking this week about how my dad played music all the time at home when we were kids. After dinner, um, we would all go in the other room and he would play the guitar and sing and we would all sing and dance together. And sometimes I think we did that like once or twice a week when I was young. And my brothers, all three of them now, are excellent musicians. I mean, he taught them the chords and they just learned them. They all play bass, bass, guitars, drums, piano, saxophone, and harmonicas. And so do all my nephews and my son. And they're, they all sing really well, too. And I believe that my dad inspired them all to be musicians. I've said it before on the podcast that I always wished I was a musician, but I'm not. The funny thing is, I have the same number of piano lessons as my brothers did, and I can't play anything. I've also tried uh, not only the piano, but I've le- tried to play the guitar twice taking lessons. I just don't have an ear for music, and I, I, I can't do the chords. I don't know why, but I wish I did. Anyways, it's so funny that I love to sing and I would love to be able to play the piano like my brothers do, but I can't. Anyways, my brother Mick was the one who inspired my son to play the guitar and piano. And my son also sings really well, and he's a good musician. We have pictures of uh, Mick teaching the boys how to play the harmonica. And we also came across some pictures um, of him bringing my son and my nephew up on stage to sing into a microphone. The little boys were about three and five, they look like. So he's always inspired them to be musicians. You guys, whatever your talent is, share it. Even if your only talent is praying for someone or a smile or a gesture, please share it with the world. We need you. It's yours to give to the rest of us. And no matter what your gift is, we need it. A kind word, a look that says, I understand, it all matters. Have you ever thought about this podcast and Bill's message? His life mission is to create a shift in the planet by inspiring us to be our true self, to create a habit of conflict resolution, to be able to master our lives, stress mastery, to have the desire, the inspiration, the motivation, and the fortitude to grow, to understand ourselves. You know, I've never even understood before about the ego or the programming. I didn't know that we were all hardwired for behavior. I had no idea that 95% of my behavior is unconscious. I just thought, oh my gosh, you're so weak. Why can't you say what you're going to do and then do it? Why do you say one thing and then do another over and over again? I would beat myself up over it. If you've ever been there, then you know what I'm saying. It makes you feel like you're a stinking loser, like a failure. It 
put so much like pressure and you're living under duress and stress all day long, every day, constantly on the defensive. I mean, you have to defend yourself, right? Because you know how lousy you really are on the inside and you sure don't want anybody else to see it. So you're constantly defending, putting up your walls. I mean, we don't want to be found out, right? I promise you guys, it doesn't have to be that way. Here's the beautiful truth. We can change. We can change our lives for the better. We can inspire ourselves by our own self-talk. Listen to what you're saying to yourself all day long because it really matters. You need awareness. Speak positively to yourself. Like in the front of of your journal or in the back of your journal, use them for uh, designating some inspiring message to yourself. Write things out like, you are enough. You are creative. How about putting on your mirror? I'm whole, perfect, powerful, strong, loving, harmonious, and happy. I am healthy. I am peaceful. I am beautiful. I am wealth. I am abundance. I am joy. Write it on your journals. Write it on every mirror. Put it on a post-it note on your computer so that you see it. Remind yourself to talk nice to you. Inspire yourself to see yourself in the truth and in the light. Remember, the ego is a big, fat liar. And once you know that, once you see the difference between the ego, which is the eye of identification, your false identity, and your true self, the eye of presence, once you're aware of that, why would you ever want to allow yourself to be overtaken by the ego? You will see that there's absolutely no reason under the sun to listen to that inner critic anymore. But it takes awareness. Stress mastery is truth. And stress mastery works for everyone. And that includes you. But there's no easy fix. I mean, you got to do the work. But I'm telling you, stress mastery completely changed my life. I am very grateful for Bill Courtright's coaching. Believe me, I am completely overwhelmed by the blessing that it's been. And I know that not everybody can do that. And I'm so grateful that I have been able to. I know sometimes he wanted to give up on me. So thank you, Bill, for not giving up on me. I'm so grateful for this podcast. Not only that I get to do this podcast, which is really beyond my wildest imagination, (laughs) past my biggest dreams, but also for the knowledge that I've learned that we get to learn constantly from this podcast every day. I mean, it's, it's incredible. I'm so thankful. And how about the Stress Mastery community? I'm so thankful for my sister who encouraged me relentlessly for years to get a hold of Bill. He inspires me to be the best that I can be. He actually sees the best in me and in everyone else. He could see me, the real me, from the start, even though I couldn't see me at all. I had no idea that I was hiding in there behind a facade, behind the mask of my ego. I love that he reminds us all of our own potential by telling us, if I can change, anyone can change. Because, guys, he's a regular guy. He didn't have a great upbringing. He certainly wasn't born with a silver spoon. He wasn't raised in a house that taught him good habits. But he made a decision to change. I cannot imagine how many tens of thousands of hours of knowledge and experience that we're just able to glean from him every day by listening to this podcast. When I say he's forgotten more than I'm ever going to know, I'm seriously not kidding. He is a genius. If you ask him a question, he'll just rattle it right off because he knows this stuff like the back of his hand. He studied it. He learned it. He has experienced so much and has learned how to teach it to us, break it down into bite-sized pieces. And then, as if that wasn't enough, God downloaded a whole bunch more for him because he got all the science and all that book knowledge, all the experience of becoming a champion Overcoming abuse, conquering addiction, overcoming diabetes when they say that you can't. I mean, do you see? He learned all that stuff. And then God said, here you go, Bill. I need you to help people. And so you're going to need all this stuff too. You guys, there's so much here for us. And it really is going to create a shift in the planet. So I'm asking you, again, go into the community where all of his knowledge and experience is. All of this love for us, all of this love for mankind, somehow he figured out how to put it all in writing. His inspiration has inspired thousands of people, and we are all very blessed for that. My life will never be the same, I promise you. It's impossible. And it's a beautiful feeling to know that I will never have to fall back into that black hole, that forest, that valley, 
that scary, forceful, mean, crazy forest that I lived in for so long down in the valley. And in turn, I'm inspired to help you climb up out of there to get a little rise up on the mountain so you can start to see, to rise up. I would love to help you succeed. I would love to help you reach your goals. Learn to dream big dreams and to be able to live your best life by living every day on purpose. I sincerely hope that you will join us in the Stress Mastery community. It is a wonderful place for people who are growing. You may have some obstacles that you'd like to overcome. You may have some behaviors that you would like to put behind you. Some thoughts that you don't want to think anymore because let's face it, you've thought of thousands of times and you already know that they're not true. (laughs) Yeah, the community can help you with all that and lots more. That's what we have there. We have peace. Well, we have that and we also have lots of inspiration. So thank you for listening today. And that is it for today's podcast. I thank you so much again for choosing to join me today. It is my prayer that this message will encourage you and will inspire you to take one more step in the right direction in this journey that we call life. Remember, our mission here is to create a shift in the planet and you can join us on the mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. The links are right below in the show notes. As always, until next time, God bless you. Stay inspired. Bye.